Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Rambo 4, or technically just Rambo. What do you know about this movie? It's the fourth installment of the Rambo films. Yep. And then from the comments on pretty much all of the other Rambo films, I think this is gonna be like the most gory. Yeah, I've heard this one is super brutal in terms of the gore and the violence. And I've also heard people say that out of all of the Rambos, this one is up there with the first and the second. Not on par with the first or the second, but I guess technically that this one's more liked than the third one. Yeah, the comment section, the consensus was pretty much that this one is very well liked. Yeah, a step up from the last one. Yeah, which, which we had fun with the last one. I think our favorites go in order so far. Yeah. So one, two, and three is how we would rank them. The last one had a lot more comedy in it, mm -hmm. which I was a little surprising, but we still had a fun time with it. It's still awesome to see Rambo just blow shit up and to know that this one is just ultra violence. Uh, looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna go back to a little bit more of the Rambo roots. This is also not that old, 2008. No, a relatively newer film compared to other movies that we watch. A very short film. I think it was only about an hour and 30 minutes. And there's another Rambo after this. So we will continue the Rambo franchise. And this is still part of the Stallone series that we're doing. So I know there's still a ton more Stallone movies to go through, but we're having a great time. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to this and obviously more Stallone to come. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Burned alive and others drowned. Jeez. Forced into the army, many as young as 12 years old. Man. The longest running civil war in the world. Wow. For a start. By Sylvester Stallone, so did he direct this one? So we're getting right into it, it seems like. They so there's a, two that haven't gone off yet, right? Yeah, playing some sort of sick game. Oh! Just evaporated that guy. What the hell? Jeez. How does Rambo get involved? Yeah, because I said this has been going on for like 60 years, so it's usually something pretty personal, though. Oh, got Rambo. Interesting. I wonder what they use the snakes for. Still got his bow and arrow. Yeah. Still effective with it. Huh. That's nice. He seems like he's found a peaceful place. Yeah, that's how the beginning of the last one started, right? Whoa, that's what the snakes are for. Okay. Fuck off, okay. <laughs> so he just collects snakes for this tourist show? Big ass snake. Yeah. I'm Michael Burnett. Do you have some time to talk? That guy looks familiar. I was told it might be possible to rent your boat. Where are you going? Into Burma. Burma's a war zone. This will be my fifth trip in, so we are aware of all the risks. We're all volunteers bring in uh, medical supplies. Is that Rita? Ah, from Dexter. <laughs> a few hours of your time that will help change people's lives. Uh, you guys seem really ill-equipped. You need any weapons? Of course not. You're not changing anything. <laughs> I mean, it said he's gonna be his fifth time, but... And how was he getting up there before? I don't know. Did you say it was the only way up there? I know I did. All right, then what I do we have to, to lose? I talked to just let me try, Michael. It's the only way. How has he done it four times before? So maybe he's just lying. The man that you were talking to. I wasn't talking to anybody. <laughs> Can't help you out. Well, if you have good reasons, would you mind if I heard them? Go home. It's a pretty good reason. These guys are just a terror. So we have our big bad. They steal his boat? It looks like they're in it, at least. Or she is. Why'd you come back? We're here to make a difference. Everyone thought like you, nothing would ever change. Nothing does change. 
Not for Rambo. What you're trying to do is change what is. And what is? Go home. Rambo never wants to be involved. For good reason. <laughs> Maybe you've lost your faith in people. Trying to save a life isn't wasting your life. Yeah, this is not a good idea. Can't keep it up against the United Front. Oh, he's taking them. Sarah, where are you going? He probably wants his privacy. Michael. You're on like a five foot boat. He can hear everything. It's like right there. <laughs> where are you from? Who we are, Arizona. I got drafted in them. And you just stayed? It's complicated. Yeah, been all over. Father, maybe, I don't know. Anytime you want to turn around, it's done. Like the second you see your first dead body? I mean, those scenes in the first couple of minutes of this movie. Horrific. It's a long boat ride. They're not alone. Who are they? Burmese pirates. Tell everyone to stay down, don't make a sound. Man, they all look terrified already. That's what I was thinking. Do you have zero idea of what you're getting into? What do you want to do? You made a commitment. I ain't talking to you. <laughs> Sit down. If it's money they want, we'll give them what they want. I don't give a shit about your money. Yeah. Heads down. I'd keep your head way, way down. <laughs> Great. Oh shit. No! <laughs> Did he say no? Yeah, I mean he has no idea what they were even asking for. We came here to help stop the killing. Who Punch are you? Him. Who are you? Who are you? Idiots. Come back. No, we shouldn't go back. We are so close. To death. I know you don't believe in what we're doing, but it's our life. Please, John. Please. <laughs> you were seconds away from disaster. Just drop him off somewhere and turn around and then roll credits. He literally just saved her life. And that's the shit that he gets? Just the fact that that guy said no. <laughs> no. How did all of those other pirates not hear that? I don't emotion? know, yeah. I have to report this. I know you think what you did was right, but taking a life is never right. What the fuck? Yeah, you're welcome. I don't know what to say. Then you shouldn't say anything, should you? You might need that more than Rambo does. Yeah. Those are the people he killed. Maybe. Turning around? I think he's just going to the boat. Oh. And clearly, none of these people even speak the language. Right, because they didn't hear that she was about to be taken. So you're just kind of pushing it? Well, he took their boat. Oh, I thought he was behind it. I think his boat's behind it. He's towing it, yeah. Is this to, like, send a message or something? Mm, or maybe just get rid of the evidence? So at least they did come with supplies and medicine. It does seem like some of them are dentists or doctors. I think their intentions are good. I just... Way in over their head. Yeah. Oof. The landmines, probably. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Damn, just mortaring a village? Oh. That was one of them. Yeah. These people are getting shredded. Oh my God. Oh, both his legs gone. Oh my God. Oh. Didn't they want some people for more soldiers? Oh, holy fuck. This movie is not shy about killing a lot of kids. Oh. Everyone. Oh, this is just a slaughter. 
everyone gone in like a minute. Yeah. Is she the only one? I don't think there was very many survivors. Definitely, I think, the most graphic child violence we've seen. Ever. Ever. You just don't turn it off! It's over! Nothing is over! She's flashing through everything. Oh, oh my God. John Rambo! John? What the hell? My name is Arthur March, pastor of the Christ Church in Colorado. Oh. What happened? They were supposed to return 10 days ago. Oh, it's been a while. Karen Freedom Fighters say they think they know where they were taken. Men who say they have experience in this part of the world. Mercenaries. We need you to take these men. They walk so far once they were on land. Yeah. And he's going to have a team? You know who you are, what you're made of. God's never going to make that go away. Killing's as easy as breathing. Damn. Seriously. I don't think we've seen Rambo with a big team before. No. None of those guys look like they're going to last very long. The fuck am I doing here? How much longer in this ancient piece of shit? Is this a team? I don't know. I think it's just a bunch of different mercenaries. Just book some meds. It's noble. I should get fucked up or you get dead. I don't want to fucking die of old age before I get there. So move. <laughs> Damn. You say something. No. You guys are a mess. Yeah. Damn. Just throw your leftovers on the prisoners. Those are the boys they were training? Probably. So a few of them are still alive. Really surprised. Damn, we're about to feed this guy to the pigs. Fuck's sake, I could swim faster than this. Please. They expect the old world to work like their fucking neighborhood. Well, it doesn't. So they send in the devil to do God's work. Rambo has had <laughs> enough of this guy. You should appreciate the action, you know what I mean? You have no idea who you're talking to. You can drop the thousand yards there. I'm not impressed. <laughs> Just go sit down, man. It's always gotta be one. They call me schoolboy. I mean, mates won't stop calling me no matter how many people I shoot. Well, schoolboy seems normal. Yeah, the other guy won't stop singing, though. What do you want from us? One man and a kid, you gotta be fucking joking. How many soldiers? Hundred, uh, maybe. Two soldiers, come tomorrow. Ooh, reinforcements tomorrow? Fuck fucking with a hundred Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, what'd you guys think you were getting into? In, out, uh, clean, or we fuck off. Why aren't you waiting with the boat? My men are staying with the boat. You're the boat man. You stay with the boat. You can hang with me at the back. Hey, hey, he stays here. He's the boat man. Yeah, so far I only like uh, schoolboy. You going anyways? But he's gonna wait for all of them to die and then go in, take care of business. He is kind of a lone wolf. Yeah. Did no one explain to them who John Rambo is? Clearly not. Oh shit, that's just a dropped bomb. Oh, tomboy bomb. English drop in World War II. Damn. I'd stay away from that thing. Jeez. Man, I have seen some shit. Never seen no shit like this. Word. Oh. I mean, come. Kill everything. Leave our dead here. Mine. Everywhere. And they just leave mines behind as well? Oh, the smell must be terrible. Those people are dead. I'm with Enju. We at least have to go and have a look-see. We go there, and we see what's what. What the hell do these mercenaries think? All right. Good. Did they not do, like, one quick Google search on what was going on? Maybe they didn't think it was a hundred. Ami, go! go! Oh, great. They're already under attack? Oh, are they going to play this fucking game again? Shit, they all make it? Want them to go back? Yeah, they want someone to blow up. Oh! Oh, oh damn. Oh! Ugh. That guy blew up. Ew, the noise. We don't need this shit. We're going back to the boat. Let's go. Whoa! Hey. <laughs> 
You know, you boys want to shoot. Now's the time. Live for nothing or die for something. Let's move. Oh, just took your team. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> one school on the tower. Smart, take the truck. Watch this to 145. In, out, no waiting around for nobody. Sorry, man. Oh. It's quick. Wow. Let him through. Go. Go. Oh, damn. They're like right there. Yeah. Well, they infiltrated the camp very successfully so far. Yeah. I mean, I guess they got lucky that they're all busy eating and watching a show, I guess. Yeah. Oh, fuck, the pig's already just eating his legs. Poor dude. Hopefully he's just dead already. <laughs> Don't talk. Where's the girl? She's over there. This is like going too smoothly, though. Yeah, something's gonna fuck up. I mean, thank God the dark and the rain is giving them a ton of cover. Jesus. Come on, yes, Sarah? Shut up, come on. Seriously. <laughs> God. Oh. oh my god. Fuck, that guy got destroyed. Oh, found her. Is that the one with the pigs in it? Yeah. Uh oh. Wow. That's three quick shots. So someone successfully got out with a prisoner so far. Yeah. Of course, right before he finds her or gets to her. Hope these guys don't do something stupid. The guys that she's with. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Kill all of these guys. He knew the deal. Let's go. Now without her. <laughs> oh. God didn't save your life. We did. I mean, I'm okay with it because Rambo can take care of himself. Oh. Oh my god. Just ripped out his throat with his bare hands. Probably the least traumatic thing she's seen. Oh no, they're all leaving. Yeah, they're about to start finding dead bodies. Hopefully they're all too, like, drunk to realize. Oh, shit. Oh! Yeah! Oh my god, it took off the top of his head! Boy Scout. <laughs> what was his name? Schoolboy. Schoolboy. <laughs> Boy Scout. Thank god he stayed behind. You said Rambo could do it on his own. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this is over. No. How far out did they get? Why'd you come back? Why did you? I'm surprised none of them died. At in the there? In there. They know now. Yep. Like the first movie. The dogs. The dogs. Ugh. Damn, how long have they been running for? Seriously. I mean, these guys are still running too. Oh, fuck! He stepped on a fucking mine? What a random place for a mine. I Man, I guess they did say that there's more mines here than anywhere. Oh! His leg is red. Take off his boot. No! Leave his boot on. He's a doctor, right? Do something. You gonna make it? I don't know. Make a stretch. stuff was that that the dogs are using? Take the point! Maybe some of the prisoners. So I'm just wondering, like, are they gonna be after them? Or are they gonna be... Right, I see what you're saying. Those which like two groups. Yeah, which group? Maybe both. Hear that? They're tracking us. Sorry. Oh, he's gonna take the dogs somewhere else? Yep. I'll be alright. Give me that claymore. Fire off a shot! It's gotten all their attention. Damn, they're on the water, they're 
freaking everywhere. It's going fast. He's got to outrun these dogs. He's nothing but a claymore. Oh, damn. Oh, they're close. Oh, sorry, dogs. You're about to sniff a claymore. Freaking all of them. Oh, shit, he put it by that thing? I didn't even realize that. I didn't either. Yeah, get the dogs out of there, even though this is going to be fucking huge. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> really utilize that Claymore. Wonder if he's gonna realize what happened. Who? This guy? Yeah. <laughs> Scout. Schoolboy. School Schoolboy. <laughs> Scout. Boy Scout. Mr. Boy. Oh, son of a bitch. Look. What is it? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Did they get to everyone else already? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Damn. I don't know how many he can take out with this sniper. Godless fuck! Damn. What do we do? Nothing we can do. Just as a sniper. Oh my Oh, there's so many guts! Oh, people are getting cut in half! Oh. oh! Holy shit! Start shooting! Oh, two with one? Yeah, guys, get your guns. You're all mercenaries. Oh! Oh, damn! They really shifted this. Oof. Damn. Uh-oh. The owl? Yeah, I think so. There's still a lot of guys left. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh, that guy was kicking ass. Oh, come on. Oof. Oh, shit. Hey, the doctor did something. Damn, Doc. Oh, he's never gonna recover from that. No. Oh, neither of those guys. Oh shit! The rebels. The current rebels. <laughs> yeah, this is mostly just Rambo with a giant gun in one spot. Damn. Uh oh. Fuck. Now they have their own giant gun. And flamethrower? Oh my god. Oh, oh shit! And more dudes? Fuck. Oh! Just everyone! Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> I think everyone on that boat is dead. Just for good measure. This is the last dude left. Man, that fucking machine gun was in the perfect spot. Oh, oh all his guts. Where the hell is Michael? Seriously. Oh, he's not dead? <laughs> How long his hair is. Yeah. Oh, he, he went, went back, back home. Our Rambo. His dad? He's got a ranch. Going home. 
All right, that was Rambo. What'd you think? That was brutal. That was super violent. The most gory, gruesome Rambo so far. A hundred percent, like times a thousand. Interestingly, I think it was lighter on the actual action. I mean, obviously there was a ton of action in the end, but Rambo was primarily just in one spot, just obliterating people with a giant gun. Yet with it being so like scaled down on the action, it still was incredibly violent. Yeah, the brutality was next level. Obviously the opening scene, I don't know if that was like supposed to be real footage or what that was, but that was horrific to start. Yeah. And it really didn't get any better. As we're watching, I mean, the brutality level was like next level compared to the other Rambo films. But then to just throw in murdering children on top of everything else was like, it was a lot. I yeah. mean, I don't think I've ever seen so many kids die in a movie. Yeah. And I mean, it was not shy about it. I mean, yeah. you saw kids getting slowly stabbed or chucked into fire, just straight up shot. Yeah. Throughout the movie, sexual assault. I mean, it was violent. It was brutal. Obviously very effective in showcasing just how disgusting the Civil War is. But that was extreme. I mean, when people told us that this was going to be violent, was not expecting a lot of what happened in this. I mean, some of the stuff, especially in the end, that violence is kind of what I expected. Like almost to the comical level of like Rambo just shredding dudes. Yeah. But before that, that was just dark. Yeah, very dark. I do have to say I liked this Rambo better than I liked the third one. Oh, okay. First and second though, I still think I like better than this one. Yeah. But what I liked about this one is that Rambo was still Rambo, very true to himself. He got kind of dragged into this, but it wasn't like the same old story of like the American government coming back for him and asking him to do something. Like they still were able to make it different. I also liked that Sarah was not a love interest for Rambo. I like that too, yeah. I think after, I don't remember her name, in the second Rambo. Oh, I don't know. That was so sad. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> honestly, I'm still like scarred <laughs> after that love connection with Rambo and his girlfriend, whatever she was. Oh, a future, possibly. There was a future there and then she stands up and gets annihilated yeah like two seconds after i think i said something about yeah like oh i hope she stays safe or something yeah. and dies immediately literally so i like that sarah wasn't trying to be like another love interest in this and it's just very interesting it's crazy that we can get four movies in and it doesn't feel repetitive to me no it does feel like you're watching rambo go through his very unfortunate life. Yeah. I think this had a great ending in terms of Rambo finally going home. I mean, after the first Rambo, it's kind of left up to your imagination to a certain degree. Like he's getting taken away by the police. After the second Rambo, he's just walking down an airfield. Like you don't know what's going to happen to him. The third Rambo, again, like he finishes his mission. You don't really have any idea of what he's going to do next. But this one is, seems very clear, like Rambo is going home. Mm -hmm. um, so I like that we've gone through these multiple stages of just Rambo endlessly searching for peace or just trying to stay out of things, find where he belongs in the world and maybe where he belongs is back home. Yeah, so obviously we know he's not gonna last here because there is one more movie. Yeah. And I doubt that all of that violence is coming to him at his dad's ranch. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure he'll be going somewhere for the last film, but they've just done such a great job of not making this feel repetitive. It's following Rambo's life and obviously Rambo is the constant in the film, but we are getting different stories every time. Yeah, this one I definitely think was the obviously darkest on the violence side, mm -hmm. but like, I don't think there was a single attempt at a joke other than maybe the banter between the mercenaries. Yeah. So it was definitely just tonally very different. Mm -hmm. It was also incredibly quick. Yeah. Uh, I think it has to be the shortest Rambo that we've seen so far. One of the shortest movies 
I think that we've seen on the channel. Yeah, because there's 10 minutes of credits. So technically this is only an hour and 20 minute long movie. Two episodes of Sopranos is longer than that. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's barely longer than an episode of Sopranos. <laughs> yeah, crazy how short it is, but it didn't feel rushed, I don't think. No, uh, the I amount mean, of action, everything. Yeah, I mean, I still think this was probably out of the three, or I guess out of the four, this has the least amount of action. Um, a lot of the action, I guess you don't really consider it action because I mean, like we had the whole game that they played with the prisoners in the beginning. We had the this obliteration of the village. Like that's not really action in terms of like fun action. That was just violence. Yeah. Um, so the action didn't really kick off until I guess you could say going through the camp and like rescuing people. But even then it was very stealthy. Yeah, and it was so dark that it's like quick and quiet and like you said, stealthy. Yeah, so that's just a different type of action. It was still very enjoyable to watch because they, they did that extraction very well. Like they got in, they got out, they got a significant amount of people saved. No one was really on to them. I think they definitely miscalculated how much time they would need to get back to the boat because no one made it back to the boat. Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily know if they miscalculated. Oh, he stepped on the mud. I forgot that he got blown up. <laughs> yeah, I think him getting blown up and I think they also didn't really have a choice. They went in when they could, they gave it 15 minutes and then they came out. Yeah, you're right. Plus, yeah, obviously the mind thing slowed them down a ton. Yeah. Um, speaking of, that was probably one of the crazier scenes. I know in terms of violence, it wasn't over the top violent. Totally forgetting about the bomb that they showed us from World War II. Yeah. And I mean, Rambo is so crazy good at everything he does. I didn't even put together that he would be using the Claymore in like combination with that bomb. No, not at all. Uh, I mean, when he was making the trap, I first thought it was like the dog that was going to set it off. So once we had the reveal of the placement of the Claymore next to that giant bomb, it was like, holy shit, this is about to be huge. And yeah. it was huge. Huge. Uh, but also it was tied up to like the piece of clothing so that it was activated by the guy pulling the cable. Yeah. But that was a massive explosion, took out a ton of people. And the trip, like it literally just like, flattened like a portion of this place. Yeah, yeah, I know it flattened so many trees in that yeah. jungle. Yeah. And then yeah, that was one of the more interesting action sequences because Rambo did, never really left his spot. Obviously they were screwed. I mean, they were totally screwed. The only person who had a gun was a guy with a sniper, which he obviously can do a ton of damage, but not to the point where he could have saved everyone. Right. So uh, Rambo just getting on that giant gun and how he chopped the first guy's head off and the guy sitting in the driver's seat. <laughs> just, Ugh, it was just all over the front of that thing. Just painted the gun with blood and guts and then it was just covered in blood and guts for like the next 15 minutes. I mean, almost like a fifth of this movie is just Rambo on this giant, like I assume 50 caliber machine gun, just tearing through people and it was brutal. People were getting cut in half, heads were coming off, Ooh, limbs. Like holes. Holes, holes, giant in holes body. in people. Uh, he went to the point where he ran out of ammo, then put more ammo in and kept going. You had the boat that got absolutely destroyed. You had the truck that came in with like reinforcements. Yeah. They didn't last like more than two seconds. No. Obviously we've seen Rambo with guns and everything throughout, but it seems that I guess he really shines, I think, when he's hand-to-hand -hand combat or with like his bow and arrow. Yeah. That's more kind of like the Rambo that I think like sticks in your mind a little bit. So it was very interesting that it was basically just him on that machine gun. <laughs> yeah, it was like 20 minutes of him just. <laughs> yeah, and like taking out just like everyone. Obviously that was badass but then also sprinkling in the rest of the mercenaries yeah. who were then able to get their weapons back and fight back. Some of them were doing great, taking out a ton of people. I definitely thought more of them were not going to make it. So it was interesting to see how many did. And then you also had the doctor came in and saved, I think the main guy, I think that was Graham McTavish, Lewis. He's never gonna recover from that. No, I mean, how could you recover from anything? I mean, what those people experienced and witnessed, uh, it was horrific. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate them coming in and trying to help, but they were so unprepared for everything oh, yeah. that they were gonna see and have to deal with. And just all of it was just obviously dangerous in general, but then having to pull in like this team of mercenaries and Rambo, like it just, 
turned into this huge thing. And honestly, even like at that camp, the original village in the beginning when they got kidnapped, did that all go down because they were there? Like, we don't even know. Obviously they kind of had been going through and taking people, but as they were taking the boys for their new soldiers, they had said like, if you guys tell anybody that we came through or anything like that. So I'm wondering if they somehow found out that they were there. Right, uh, I mean, it definitely seemed in the beginning that they were just going there as like five or six people from some church. But then it was clearly demonstrated that they actually did have supplies. Yeah that they were doctors or dentists. Yeah. So yeah, maybe someone got a heads up that like, hey, we can take some American prisoners or something like that. Because right. I think we saw, if I'm remembering it correctly, that we saw them take some villagers earlier on and they like took the boys and stuff. Yeah. Whereas when they came to this village where it had all of the Americans, they seemed to just kill almost everyone. That's what I'm wondering. Like, was that the same place? I don't think, I think it was a different village. A different village altogether. Yeah. So maybe they weren't going for anything other than taking them prisoners or something. Yeah. Or so just wiping out a village. Right. So I don't know. That was so graphic though. Um, yes. In comparison. Obviously always cool to see Rambo kicking some ass. I mean, the villains in this were like also next level. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, we've had the comical Russian villain or something mm -hmm. like that, but this was just on another level. I mean, compared to the previous three, uh, I don't know if anything was comes close to being as dark or as twisted as this movie, except for the end of the first movie, which is just impactful on a whole other level. Yeah. So yeah, interesting direction for the Rambo movie for sure. Definitely a change from Rambo 3 specifically. Yes. That had a lot more humor and like lightheartedness to it. Yeah. So for the fifth one, I don't know, is it going to continue this trend? Is it going to lighten things up a little bit? Kind of like how you said before, we're four movies in and it still feels like we're moving through Rambo's life mm -hmm. in a normal direction for Rambo. Mm -hmm. So for the fifth one, I'm sure it's gonna feel the same. And obviously we're also kind of getting to go through Stallone's life um, and his like acting career yeah. at the same time. I was thinking about it. I mean, the first three Rambos are relatively close to each other, mm -hmm. whereas this is a decently big time jump. Yeah, like maybe 20 years. Something like that, yeah. I didn't pay attention to when the, the third one came out, but uh, obviously this is much later in Stallone's career. Yeah. So I'm sure he had a plethora of movies in between these. So especially because this was directed by Stallone. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously it was a very intentional tone that he wanted to set. So it's just interesting for his film catalog. Yeah. So I'm excited for the last one. Obviously, you know, we're doing our Stallone series. We made our way through like all the Rocky films and then sprinkled in some of Stallone's other films. So this just feels like huge to make it through like his next big series of movies. Yeah. yeah. Definitely enjoyed it. It was wild in the end for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, and excited to see how this finishes up with Rambo 5. I don't assume they're having a Rambo 6. Maybe they are. I have no idea. I think the next one's called Last Blood, so I'm guessing it's the last one. It but... could be the last one. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full-length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.